who's racing this weekend. I mentioned Brazil, and when you think about Brazil, you think about one athlete in particular on the men's side, this legend. He's now 39 years old, Santiago Asensio. He is coming to you with three wins last year. He won Ironman 70.3 Coquimbo at the end of the year. He won Bariloche in Argentina, and he also won the, the South American favorite, yeah, Pucon, and this guy, he's an awesome dude, been around the sport for a while, and got a lot of fans from Brazil. Can't wait to watch him race. And next in our competition today is the American Kevin Collington, but he's made a name for himself all around the world, Michael. He's 35 years old. He's the Ironman champion at Ironman Taiwan in 2017, but really makes his bread and butter on the 70.3 circuit. Uh, he won in uh, 2019, he won Ironman 70.3 Japan and finished third at uh, 70.3 in Ecuador and Peru. Uh, he lives in Colorado and uh, enjoys traveling the world for races. He's earned Ironman 70.3 titles in uh, China as well as Colombia and Costa Rica as well. I feel like we should uh, we should also talk about this guy. Two awesome upstarts on today's uh, race. Thomas Davis representing Great Britain. He's 25. He was fourth last year twice at the Ironman 70.3 Poland. Also Staffordshire. This guy has been on that European Cup, the ITU circuit, and he's done quite well, but he's transitioned right over to this longer distance racing fifth also last year at Weymouth, and he got a top 10 at the Ironman European Championship in Elsinore. So this guy, watch out for Thomas Davis. And a very warm and special welcome to Matt McWilliams, who today, Michael, at age 26, is making his professional debut with VR17. How exciting is that? His first professional race, of course, uh, a very accomplished racer, nevertheless. He's a 70.3 champion, where he was the first overall finisher uh, at races without a pro race. That was at uh, Ironman 70.3 Muncie. Uh, and back in 2018, he took the title at Ironman 70.3 Muskoka and 70.3 Atlantic City. So a big warm welcome to his first pro race. Uh, here we go, young Mr. McWilliams. Congratulations and welcome to your first pro race. Look at how tightly stacked they are, Michael, as we come here to the finish. It's gonna be Thomas Davis, his first pool swim. He said he's been doing some open water pool swimming, but it's Davis who takes the win in 5.59, followed by Ascento at 6.01, Kevin Collington at 6.04. Wow, Michael, super close. These athletes stacked up, not much breathing room between them. Athletes off in the Hoka Ironman VR17 Pro Challenge 5150 Santa Cruz. Mick Williams is off to a hard start. Ascenso right behind Collington. And of course, Davis as well. Our four superstar professional athletes pushing it. First year pro, Matt Mick Williams is in front. You see him above six watts per kilogram and, and that thing lights up green. I mean, ouch, that's a good, good, solid effort. Right here, right now, Matt McWilliams, first across the line for the Hoka Ironman VR17. That is too good. Well done, Santiago Senso. Back to Thomas Davis, so close. He's 100 meters out from the finish line. Here he comes, representing Great Britain. This man, 25 years young, is done with the bike portion. Kevin Collington, he won Ironman Taiwan a couple years ago, and now, Fourth across the line, hands up, leg stop, you've done it. Well done today, Kevin. And it's off and running. Here at halfway as we watch Matt McWilliams, McWilliams take the turn, slightly uphill going back. So again, uphill at altitude after a kilometer and a half of, of at threshold running. Uh, interesting to see, we, you know, we, we heard Kevin Collington say he had a little bit of a blow up. So we'll see what happens as the athletes now head for home over halfway. Matt McWilliams, he stops the clock at 828, a brand new PR, a brand new best for virtual racing. Santiago Asenso uh, finishing just 12 seconds back at 8.40, so a great run for him. Thomas Davis in third place, 38 seconds back at 9.06, as we watch Kevin Collington, uh, who was up as high as you know 325 minute Ks, bringing it back a little bit for a strong finish here. Take a look at the finish standings for the Hoka Ironman VR Pro Challenge, version 17, Matt. McWilliams, his first pro race DD, and he went 619 on the swim, 5346 for the bike, 828 for the run, and a 108 finish time in front of Thomas Davis, Santiago Asenso, and Kevin Collington. What a show. The winners are Team USA. It took Kevin Swim, Matt's run, and Matt's bike. These guys took out the team title of Best Split Fun. So congrats, fellas.